Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings. Why do readings for celebrities and celebrities only? Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys are into that. Ooh, we getting started early, baby. So, as you guys can tell from the title, of course, I'm going to be doing a reading on Beyonce. I think I'm going to do a separate reading on Beyonce and Solange because right now I'm just going to focus on her. I'm I'm strapped for time okay so we're gonna start with this first damn she got a lot of messages okay okay b okay b <laughs> all right i don't even have her birth chart with me i just said you know what let me go ahead and just turn the camera on i do know that she is a virgo sun her moon is in scorpio um yeah so <laughs> we'll go with that all right so first thing let me tell you first thing first all i keep hearing is the Texas Hold'em song, okay? Down, 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 down. That's all I keep hearing. And um, it's so funny that Creative Projects is the first card to come out, okay? So we all know that she's coming out with Act 2. I know some of you all are super excited. As soon as I said Act 2, I just saw 111 on the clock. This could be very significant at this time for Beyonce, as a matter of fact. Let me see if it's in this new card deck. If not, I'll have to pull it from the other one. But 111 just popped up on the screen. So I know it's going to be very significant to this reading. Okay. She may be seeing angel numbers. Some of you all may be seeing angel numbers. Okay. Just know you're not crazy. That's just God giving you your messages and your angels letting you know, hi, we're thinking about you. And also, if you need to make some changes or you've been thinking of doing something creative, Spirit says now is the time. Okay. This, is, this could be something for Beyonce that is very, um, this is something that could be very close to her heart, this particular project, um, something that she's really been wanting to do, something that's going to be very fulfilling for her or fulfilling for her audience, who knows. All right. So as a matter of fact, we do have 111 here. Okay. So 111 has to do with intuition. Okay. Spirit is saying it's time to implement long cherished ideas. So this is something that Beyonce may have been wanting to do for a long time. If I'm not mistaken, I think I've saw people mention in the comments that Beyonce did dabble in country at one point, but, um, I think, I think, I don't know if she had somebody comment down below. Did she have the same type of issue that Lil Nas had with her music where people were trying to put it in another category outside of country? But um, I feel like for her, she was like, okay, that, that wasn't the time to strike, but now is the time to strike, okay? When it comes to like getting her foot in the country door and baby, she kicked that MF down, okay? Because if I'm not mistaken, she's still number one on the country top 40, okay? Well, Texas hold them, so she, I'm hearing, woo, <laughs> like when she's saying the song, woo, hey, she may be in a really good mood because I feel zam good, okay, Beyonce feels zam good, all right, she could also be working with somebody like an energy healer, some type of healers or spiritualist or something that are helping to keep her balanced, I'm getting her auras and her chakras and in balance. <laughs> All right. With the intuition card here, it says time to implement long cherished ideas. You're on the right track, spirit says, towards making your dreams and visions a reality. It says the right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent your way. Let me tell you something. People are knocking at her mother freaking door. Okay. Keep in mind, everything here is alleged because, of course, we're dealing with public figures. It's important to remember tarot is for entertainment purposes only, okay? So she could have people knocking at her door, wanting to work with her. There could be a lot of country artists that want to work with her. Um, a lot of people have been throwing Kay Michelle's name around. And there's also another country singer. She sings, um, I'm a buckle bunny. Y'all yeah, know, if you know Buckle Bunny, she's been uh, really popular on TikTok and Instagram. I can't think of her name right now. I think it's Taylor or something like that. But um, people are wanting to work with Beyonce. Beyonce is wanting to work with people. So there could be something collaborative about this album. Who knows? Okay. Um, you also have here, it says, happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust in the process. So Spirit is telling her trust in the process, which from the way I'm feeling, 
and the cards that I pulled, I feel that Beyonce is in this energy. I wouldn't be surprised either if Beyonce is an empath or she's mentioned this in an interview about empath or magic or spirituality or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. She knows everybody is watching her right now. You got the judgment card here. Keep in mind, judgment is also about an awakening. She, she's listening to it. And I've said it before. I've talked about this in the readings I've done for her and Jay-Z and for Jay-Z's uh, reading by himself. I talked about judgment. Okay. She knows people are judging her, whether this is negative or positive. And guess what? She doesn't give a fuck. Okay. Because guess what? All publicity is good publicity okay because she don't even have to do anything all she did was walk out okay with that texas hold'em song she was wearing a, a leather vest <laughs> no bra and i think a pair of panties okay and then she did a fake gun salute okay she's letting y'all know like i don't i don't I, I don't even have to get your videos okay here's your visual take that okay and let's just talk about the music okay and i feel like i said the same thing about her last album like she does like she don't have to it's beyonce okay at the end of the day let's just keep it real she has the magic touch and she knows she got the magic touch and let me tell you this is not just about beyonce beyonce knows she got the right people around her if i'm not mistaken guys comment down below does she still work with dream i'm hearing hit maker so I don't know if Hitmaker has been on her album too. I'm hearing Hitmaker. But there's people that are around her. Like she's got the best producers. Like I said, people are knocking at her door. Okay. Beyonce's good. She got the magic touch and she wants certain people around her. They got that Jenna Saqua to work with her. Okay. Spirit is saying you are accessing true magic from deep within. Oh, baby, somebody's coming into themselves. I feel very happy and confident while doing this reading. And I noticed that I feel like this with Beyonce when she's working on the album. She's getting ready to release the album. Um, she's doing all little things before it leads up to it. Okay. Um, because you guys know. Okay, if you watch this channel and you're familiar, all right, yeah, I know good and well. It's kind of hard sometimes to get a positive reading from Beyonce when I'm doing a reading for her and her husband, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day, okay? <laughs> you got soulmate is here, okay? Speaking of her husband, I'm just saying, I tell y'all all the time, she said, That's my man, my man, my man, just like the energy I get with Nicki Minaj. You can talk about her husband, but she don't care. Um, it says this relationship is a match made in heaven. So they could be on good terms at this moment. They could be leading towards this. They, they, I feel like they got past the hump. I did mention in a, I think a previous reading on them that they're going to get through a hump, some type of issue and be on good terms again. Okay. I do feel like these two go through, they go through cycles. I mentioned this in a previous reading and I was singing a song by Lifehouse and the guy says, if shame was a face, I think it would kind of look like mine. Uh, it's a six cycle carousel. Six cycle carousel. This is a six cycle. Yes. One minute you're my soulmate, next minute I hate you. But this is not surprising. This is a couple. This is a married couple. They've been together for years. They ain't going to like each other every day. So these two go through ebbs and flows. One minute I want to divorce you, next minute I want to jump your bones, okay? Um, you, I'm telling y'all, I wouldn't be surprised if they spoke to somebody, a energy healer or something, um, because this 73 breaks down to 10. 10 is about releasing. 10 is fulfillment. And honestly, I feel like when she's in her element, when she feels her best, it's when she's in her craft. And that's her music. Spirit says, your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed now. This girl is a natural healer and an empath. Okay. This is somebody that heals through music. This is somebody who heals others through music. This is somebody that was just, this is, this is what she was meant to do. This is her purpose. This is her calling. This is when she feels her best. This is when she feels she is in her femininity. Is when she lets go and she allows for her gift to take over. Damn. Okay. And guess what else too? She, at this point in her life, at this point in her career, 
okay? She is not worried about the approval from others, okay? Only approval as I need is the one from the man above, okay, is what I'm hearing. You got to choose to approve of yourself and others will too. Let me tell you, the more you start loving yourself, approving yourself, trusting in your craft, which I feel she's doing, the more you become confident about your work. She's confident about this country album. Her, her people her people may not be because they may be scared. They're used to Beyonce winning. They're fearful. What if this album doesn't do its best, okay? All right? But creative projects, 22 breaking down to four. It is time to get things done. Make your creative projects a priority. This is her priority, okay? Right now, this is what she's truly focused on. All right? And let's see what comes out. Give me some career messages. If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hold on, guys. I have to keep checking my phone. I'm waiting on an um, important message and a phone call. All right, let's see. They got give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please. <laughs> I want to say Beyonce knows Carter. Okay, give me the messages, please, for... There it is. Beyonce knows Carter. What did I tell y'all? Didn't I tell you she feels renewed? Look at that renewal coming out in this reading here. All right. It says, you need to take time to recharge. I had mentioned this in a previous reading on her. It says, your energy to get back on track. Uh, challenges ahead require you to have faith in a breakthrough. There could be some challenges. Again, we didn't get the judgment card. People judging her work. Um, you know, she's somebody that I feel is a self-proclaimed I think she said perfectionist at some point. She may have said this, but um, it could, this may not be something that's necessarily, that's stressing her. It may not necessarily be her work. It could be something in regards to her relationship. Okay. You got relationships. This could be in business. Uh, you got business partners, office love affairs, and communication with coworkers are highlighted now. Spirit says make choices with extreme care. You also have magic. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky's the limit. I'm telling y'all, you cannot tell me this woman is not working with somebody that is a healer of some way, shape, or form. She's working with somebody allegedly a medicine doctor or something she's working with somebody okay that is breathing speaking life into her you got passage it says your current situation is a means to an end you are making an uncertain voyage to a new world enjoy the discoveries as you go i'm telling you uncharted waters is where she's headed doing something different seeing if this is going to pay off for her all right i'm sorry i keep feeling like she's working with somebody so let me see what comes out in these cards Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. Bottom of the deck, you have dating magic. I'm telling y'all, I would not be surprised. Bottom of the deck, you have dating magic. It says spiritual presence to help you do magic, okay? A lot of people have speculated. Keep in mind, everything here is alleged. That, you know, Beyonce is into something, okay? So I'm just saying, I don't know if she's worshiping some type of deities or gods or something. Who knows, okay? I'm just going to show y'all what's here. I'm telling y'all, shut the freaking door. I just saw it at the bottom. You can't tell me she's not working with a spiritual practitioner. You cannot tell me this woman ain't working with a spiritual practitioner. Clinically trained to support the spiritual health of patients and families across diverse beliefs. You cannot tell me this woman is not working with one. I feel it in my freaking bones. Ooh, child. Child, cast a spell or a curse. You got the hex card here, okay? Well-being, love, life, health. Listen, now, we got some crazy people out here, okay? All right, everybody in the Beyonce fan. We don't know who could be throwing some at her. Maybe somebody throwing some at her, allegedly. Let's just hope not. Like I said before, I feel like there could be some type of practices. It could be her wanting to know about Buddhism, wisdom, virtue, concentration. She could be speaking to somebody that has this background. And then you also have solitary witchcraft, okay? They practice without a group, okay? So listen, again. Isn't Beyonce from New Orleans? Okay. Y'all yeah, remember that music video? Best Revenge is your paper. I'm just saying. 
And you got telekinesis, ability to move objects by non-physical means. So, child, okay. All right, I'm just saying. Take what resonates, okay? If it don't resonate, leave it behind. This is just a reading, okay? Don't take it so serious. All right, let's see. <laughs> Child, you be having to come with a warning when you be doing celebrity readings for it. Folks be acting like they damn cousins and best friends of these damn folks. They be getting all serious and mad. I be like, man, shut up. All right. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got here. Um, if you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Let's get some more messages for Beyonce. Dear God. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, she's at a good place or something right now with Jay-Z. Because I keep, it's like I keep getting um, corrected. Like she's correcting and saying, Beyonce knows Carter. Beyonce knows Carter. <laughs> Give me the most clear, precise messages, please, for Beyonce knows Carter. Beyonce knows Carter, please. I'm a whole lot of women. going on today look at that you cannot make that. <laughs> is that not Sagittarius I'm just saying is he not a Sagittarius Jay-Z is a Sagittarius son his moon is in Libra okay if you didn't know this is so funny <laughs> all right you also have good luck and happiness in your relationships didn't I tell y'all these two may be on good terms right now You got here, older woman, okay? Okay. Oh, child, not police report. Okay. An older woman, Asian, police report. Let me just let that lay down for a minute. Hold on. Yeah, let me let all these lay here for a second so I can go back over them. All right, you also have silent but deadly, okay? And I feel like this is in reference to Beyonce. She's very private, okay? And sometimes people can take your um, quiet, what did it say, silence? Oh, shit, what's the saying? Don't take my quiet for weakness or my silence for weakness. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm picking up. <laughs> you have, you think you can handle me? You got one trick pony is here. You got never lower your standards, okay? So there could have been some situation here where she may have wanted to take it there. Could have been in regards to somebody. I'm just saying this could have been her finding out about an alleged. Excuse me. Could have been an alleged. Sorry, peace. But spirit is like, listen, never lower your standards, okay? Or some other situation in her life. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, she's parting ways with fears and doubts. And you also have her schizophrenia, my goodness, okay? So there could be somebody um, that may have schizophrenia around her. This could be something that was in the family tree, allegedly. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Give me some more messages, please, when it comes to, dang, Beyonce. How many we got? Dear God, I ask that you're giving the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please. Or Beyonce knows Carter. Bottom of the deck, you have here solar plexus, okay? So normally when I when I get this, this could indicate that something could be off or somebody could be vibrating from the negative standpoint. But I don't feel like, I feel like in the past she was, but I feel like now she's in a different energy, okay? Meaning that in the past, Beyonce could have been feeling very like, could have been some issues in regards to her self-esteem or her self-worth. This has come up a lot in readings that I've done for her in the past, but something's happened. I'm telling you, her energy is different because when the solar plexus, the third chakra is vibrating high, a person can show signs of strength, confidence, energy. And we've seen this in this reading. You even see it in my energy. I feel hype. I feel good. 
but not in a crazy way. I feel really good. And uh, this is all about mental balance and good health and confidence and being very active. She could be working out, you know, a lot of things, eating healthy, you know. This is basically what I'm picking up when it comes to her. Okay, B. Okay, B. <laughs> Look at you, babe. I'm telling y'all, when she get ready to release an album, Beyonce don't be mother freaking playing, okay? She don't be playing. All right, yeah, you have here the cool kid, okay? That came out in Jay-Z's reading. I noticed a cool kid comes out a lot in reference to him, okay? I don't know. Jay-Z may have been somebody very popular in school. Spirit is saying that she needs to get to know herself first. I'm hearing her happiness at times could be on, oh, wait a minute. I almost lost it. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting her happiness is contingent on what happens in the relationship. Like I really, like when, if our relationship, when it's on good terms, then I feel great. I feel confident. I feel amazing. When our relationship is being tested, then I'm back in the queen of cups and the reverse energy. Mm, I don't like that. Yeah, Spirit is saying it's our time to shine. Not surprised some of these messages are coming through. I'm getting, like I said, that up and down energy. So I don't know if there's like mental health check is needed. But um, when I pulled earlier the spiritual um, practitioner, again, I feel like speaking to somebody, a spiritual practitioner in some way, this is somebody that's been giving allegedly some advice to her. I'm going to let y'all read that and we'll keep going. You have crying over them. I'm telling you, I feel like this is something that happened in the past, very recent past. I really wanted to specifically say very recent past, okay? I wish that I could be one of the cool kids. Who sings that? I don't know. Maybe she's going to be working with that artist or that artist reached out to her. Um, yeah, you got high priestess or priest. Okay, like I said, she could have uh, priestess. She could have been high priest or high priestess. She could have reached out to somebody like this. Okay, <laughs> there she is in her own reading. Best revenge is your paper. Didn't I say that earlier? Best revenge is your paper. Some idea like that. Okay. Yeah, spirit is saying, don't be afraid. And you also have mugshot. Y'all, police report, mugshot. Hold up a second, y'all. What's the vibe, okay? All right, let's see. What's going on when it comes to Beyonce? When it comes to Beyonce knows Carter, what is going on? Blocked, moved on, nothing to say, stop calling. Child, Beyonce, did you block somebody? Did you tell somebody you moved on? Somebody could be suffering in silence. You got unspoken desires, real feelings, and broken dreams. You also have psychopath, abusive, conniving, and unpredictable. Somebody around her could be in this energy. You also have harmony, balance. I'm telling you, I feel like this was the past right here. I'm getting this is past suffering in silence, um, dealing with somebody allegedly that could be unpredictable or abusive or conniving, blocking or wanting to block this person. I'm telling y'all, there was a lot of drama in regards to, I'm sorry, I got to say it, her and Jay-Z, okay? Um, but again, like I said, this is the energy they're in, harmony and balance, or at least they're trying to be, or somebody's trying to mask it with harmony and balance, but we still got a lot of shit that you and I need to be dealing with, okay? Hiding, concealing, deception. Somebody could be hiding the secrets from the other person. Bottom of the deck here, you got longing, missing you. Let's talk reunion. I'm telling you, reunion, reconciliation is the energy that I'm getting, okay? Mm. Let's see. Let's switch gears. Because every time I try to do a reading for her, here comes Jay-Z taking over. Here you go, taking over. <laughs> Let's see. Um, dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages. Let's just ask straight up. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages. We'll act two. 
will Renaissance Act 2 be a success? Dear God, giving the most clear and precise message that needs to come through. Will Beyonce's album Renaissance Act 2 be a success? Let me just say this, okay? Keep in mind, everything is alleged. Uh, we're dealing with public figures. Y'all, this is the third time I've pulled some cards on Beyonce's new album. This is about the third time, okay? Y'all just didn't see the other ones because I didn't upload them. I asked about three times if this album was going to be a success. So, Seven of Pentacles is in a reverse. I got to trust my cards, okay? Seven of Pentacles in a reverse. Spirit is saying that allegedly, no, this album would not be, it would have limited success. This album allegedly would have limited rewards. That's Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Also, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse can be about, like, again, no rewards or um, deny something, all right? You also have Ten of Swords coming out in the reverse. I don't know if when Beyonce may be done with releasing music after Act 3 or whenever she's done with this whole Act Renaissance sort of thing, she may be retiring from music because I have the Ten of Swords coming out in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, okay? This is about something having no choice but to end. Okay, it could be her working relationship with somebody, a marriage or, or business partnerships. Who knows? There may be a separation from something at some point in the future when it comes to Beyonce. All right. You also have, let me tell you something. I told y'all, Beyonce, whether or not this album is a success, Beyonce's okay with that because she feels like she put her blood, sweat, and her tears in it. This album was tears. You see how that rain is falling down? She put her blood, her sweat, and her tears in it. She's celebrating with her friends and family. I don't know. This could be Solange. This could be Kelly Rowland. Could be anybody else she's close to. But there's a healing that comes from this album. She feels free. She may even free herself from her contract, free herself from her label, free herself allegedly from her marriage, okay? Three of Cups comes out in a reading at times when somebody's celebrating something. They're celebrating. There's friendship. There's collaboration. Do not be surprised if this is a collaborative album with a whole bunch of females or a collaborative album of males and females or different types of genres or different type of country artists, okay? But whatever the case may be, this is very therapeutic for Beyonce. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if she spends a lot of time now or in the future um, somewhere, just like how you saw Usher in Bali or whatever, and he was with his wife and he was with Russell Simmons them and they were... Um, taking in the sights and the culture and all of these things and meditating. Don't be surprised if Beyonce does this. You just might not see it because, you know, she don't like y'all in her business. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry, Beehive. She love y'all, but she don't want y'all in her business. Okay, period. <laughs> you also have four of swords in the reverse because it's like, I'm not going to stress anymore. I feel like for her, she's experienced burnout. She's contemplating for a while, letting this be the end for her when it comes to music or something. Beyonce's exhausted. Beyonce don't get enough sleep. In the past, what has happened with Beyonce when it comes to music and albums and releasing, it was constant worry. Will this work? Will this sell? Will this do this? Will I do that? Blah, blah, blah. This is what happens when somebody loves what they do, but they are also what they call like a mad genius. Okay? So there's always this constant need for perfection. I'm hearing pretty hurts. All right. You also have four of wands. Like, I just want to celebrate. I want to be around people that love me, that care about me, that I love and that I care about. I just want to dance and I want to be happy. I'm telling y'all, she's going to be celebrating, drinking, partying, twerking. <laughs> you may see her at somebody else's wedding where they tied the knot or having a lot of celebrations at her own home or, or um, Rock Nation sort of get together. Don't be surprised if Rock Nation has a party but it's just not going to be at the time in which they normally have it all right you also have strength card in the reverse okay so again it may have been something she didn't have the courage to do in the past could be releasing this album or or people discouraging her from releasing this album but it's like no i mean i put in so many blood sweat and tears over the years damn it i'm gonna do what i want to do even if it's not critically acclaimed or perceived really well by some of my fans, you know, it's cool. It is what it is. All right. It is what it is. There's the Ten of Swords. Underneath the Ten of Swords is the Eight of Pentacles. She, this woman has put in so much work. Matter of fact, she's putting in work now by that Act 3. 
I'm already trying to figure out what the next stage is going to be. That girl is a worker. Do you hear me? And she's going to get to that bag. It don't matter. What I'm also picking up is that if this album starts off slow as far as sales, it may increase later. This could be due to a collaborative effort that ends up happening where, I don't know, hell, Dolly Parton, somebody Parton, okay? Um, <laughs> who knows? Somebody joins in, okay? And gives it a little bit of a push, okay? So, let's see what else we got. <sighs> la, 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 la. Hmm. I didn't, um, let me pull this. I feel like I need to pull this for Beyonce before I close out. All right, give me a message for Beyonce, please. Give me a message. I kept talking about empath and um, all of those things. I want to see if there's anything else that may come through when it comes to Beyonce knows card. King, okay, born leader and commander. You cannot make this up, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have physical empath. She could be a physical empath, the ability to feel the symptoms or of others' uh, illness, sympathy, pains for someone in labor, or even inconsistent energy levels. She may also be getting signals, okay? Body parts could be hurting. If I'm not mistaken, isn't Beyonce healing from a foot surgery or something? Um, she may be told that she needs to sit down. She may have even told Jay-Z. Um, like, hey, are you okay? I'm kind of noticing something with you. I kind of, you know, my intuition is telling me that you need to take care of yourself. You know, that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and close out this reading for Beyonce. Um, ooh. Let me ask a final question. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of Solange in here. Solange, her sister, is a cancer sign. Some people were speculating that these two may not be as close to each other as they used to be because when they went to support Solange's son at his uh, fashion show, what they noticed is that they, weren't sitting, they were sitting separate from each other. And then also when they took uh, photos together, they were on opposite ends. Now, they don't necessarily mean anything. And even if they did have a falling out, hell, they're family, okay? You fight with family, okay? But I do want to see, dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please. Give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please. Is there currently a family rift between Beyonce and Solange? Dear God, give me the most clear and precise message. Is there currently a rift between Beyonce and Solange? Allegedly, yes, there is something here. It could be due to a man. That's where you got the emperor. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Allegedly, yes, there could be some issues that is going on between the two of them. Um, we do have the Emperor card here. I don't know. Keep in mind, the Emperor card is about like authority. OK, that could be a father figure that could be trying to say, hey, maybe y'all need to kind of like speak to each other, your sisters, break it up, make up, whatever the case may be. Um, that could be trying to bring these two together or allegedly that could have been a person that came between them and may have allegedly turned them apart. OK, um, also bottom of the deck, you also have here queen of pentacles. OK, now this could represent Beyonce because she is a Virgo. OK, um, this could definitely represent um, Beyonce, queen of pentacles um, coming out in a reading can be somebody that is very nurturing, providing financially. Um, and let's see, we also have nine of swords in the reverse coming out in the reading along with the page of wands chariot in the reverse Solange you're not talking to Beyonce allegedly Ew, she ain't doing too much talking to her and she's on the and she's stalling about something a pop, like how you, how you stall from somebody like we're refusing to have like a reconciliation or at least not right now allegedly because she got the chariot card coming out in the reverse isn't she a cancer that's that cancer energy there. Okay. You also have page of wands. I feel like this is something, if they if they aren't talking to each other, this was something very 
petty, okay? Something small, maybe nothing big that's going to keep these two from talking to each other anymore, okay? Now, now the swords in the reverse coming out in a reading could do with somebody like reaching out or being hopeful that a situation is going to work. Now, I'm going I'm to be honest now, I feel in this situation with the Queen of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck here, Beyonce may have or will be the person that tries to reach out or she's usually the person that ends up reaching out first if they do have a little bit of a spat. I think it takes Solange a little bit longer to come around, okay? Because she's represented by that page of wands <laughs> and that chariot card. But I do feel like she is curious about what she's up to or how she's doing. But I don't feel like the communication is as much as it used to be. Okay, you also have that hangman there. Somebody needs to sacrifice something in order for this relationship to work. Let me ask. Let me ask. How does Solange truly feel about Jay-Z? Dear God, give me the most clear and precise message that needs to come through. How does Solange truly feel about Jay-Z? Hmm. They do got the justice card here. Let me tell you something. Okay, now I will say this. All right. At times when the justice card comes out, it is <laughs> that is not even it. Spirit said, nope, that's not it. He may be the cause, allegedly. Okay. Keep in mind, justice card can be about the cause and effect. He may be the cause, allegedly, of these two's relationship not being in balance. Keep in mind, just, Justice Card is about balance. He either is trying to be a mediator. Keep in mind, his moon is in Libra, so I wouldn't be surprised that he's trying to mediate and keep things in balance. One or two things going on. Either he tries to be the mediator between the two of them, or he is the cause and the reason why these two may not allegedly be as close as they used to be. Yep, Page of Pentacles is in the reverse, and it could be something to do with his alleged philandering ways, okay? Because at the time, um, this is one of the reasons why this relationship may not be progressing. Um, you know how sometimes, let's say you have a relationship with your friend or your family member, and you know the person that they're dealing with, you may feel that person is not right for them. You've listened to them time and time again, cry and everything on your shoulder about somebody, and then eventually you get tired of hearing about it. Okay, if you're like, well, if you're gonna stay, then stay, or if you're gonna leave, leave, but I'm tired of hearing about it. And I'm just saying, charity is in a reverse, so she may have put a stop to it. Like, I don't wanna hear it if you're gonna keep on dealing with this situation over and over again. Because Page of Pentacles in the reverse comes out in the reading when somebody could be overindulgent, I want my cake and eat it too, sort of energy. Okay? And look at that. They love each other. Look at that Two of Cups. And it's represented by two females. Sometimes when you see this card, there's a male and a female. These two love each other. Okay, they could be, you know, you have, you can have a soulmate that is also your family or your friend. Okay, and that, that energy that, yeah, I can't even talk. Unity, partnership, connection. I mentioned I can't even talk. I'm telling you that nine of swords was in the reverse. They may not be speaking, but the love is still there. I'm hearing, is the love still good, still good, babe? Cause and effect, you got king of pentacles in the reverse. Y'all, listen, I'm sorry. Why am I getting, I got King of Pentacles in a reverse, but this is actually Four of Pentacles in a reverse, okay? But I always get this, This look at this. Usually the King of Pentacles has this sort of look like this in some of my other cards. So immediately I got King of Pentacles, but let's keep going. Four of Pentacles in a reverse is somebody greedy, all right? Or somebody that could be protecting themselves, okay? And you also have, yeah, I have to protect myself. I'm sorry, I got to protect my peace. Okay, because you're disturbing it. You have the eight of cups, somebody that's choosing it to just walk away or abandon the situation, even if it's temporary. Yeah, world card, okay, and closing out a chapter, all right? So it may not be that they are truly done with each other, but sometimes you have to feed somebody with a long handle spoon because you can no longer take seeing them deal with something unhealthy over and over again, okay? Um... I need to see why these messages are coming through. Mm. Why are these messages coming through? 
Why are these messages coming through? Why are these messages coming through? I was not expecting this to be as long as it is. Bottom of the deck, you have your thoughts. Okay? It could be on the other person's mind. You also have message of concern. You have lovers. You have bad health. You have concern. And then you also have change. Hmm. Hmm. What are you trying to say? Y'all, I'm telling you, I keep getting it. I'm not going to dive too much into Beyonce and Jay-Z's reading. I'll do another one in the future because I feel like I've done so many. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's going to be a message. There's, I'm telling y'all, there's something in the future in regards to Jay-Z. There's going to be a major change in regards to their relationship. And this could come the result of a woman or women. There's something that's going to end up coming out in the news. I don't know if somebody also is going to have some issues in regards to health. Be, um, this could be, I'm getting, I, I hope that's not the case, but I'm getting um, their father. I can't think of his name right now, Mr. Knowles, okay? But um, I hope that's not the case. Could be something in reference to Mr. Knowles. But what I'm also picking up is that I mentioned earlier about Beyonce mentioning a health issue in regards to Jay-Z. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that unfolds. We'll see. All right. So, let me see. To close out this reading. Okay. Will these two reconcile their connection? Will these two, Beyonce and Solange, reconcile their connection? I'm not surprised. Yeah. They will. It'll be healed. You got the world card coming out again in this reading. So that's really good to come out in the end. Um, there will be a cause. I'm telling y'all, there's going to be a cause for celebration. Don't be surprised if pictures are shown and then you end up seeing these two together. Um, and it could be something centered around material gains. Okay. So give me some final messages. When it comes to Beyonce, what will she learn during this time? What will Beyonce learn during this time? What will Solange learn during this time? What will Solange learn during <laughs> this time? Okay. Alrighty. Dang, Solange. Dang. Okay. Beyonce, you got to jump in. You're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never align all just in the right way. Sometimes you have to take that leap of faith. This is time. I'm telling y'all, this new album is, is about taking a leap of faith, doing something different, okay? Doing what makes you happy in spite of the judgment. When it comes to Salon, she got patience. It's time. Keep going and bravery. It says you're being asked to practice patience. Right now, it's not easy to do this, but you're strong. And there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to at this moment. Okay. I did notice earlier she was represented as a chariot in a reverse. This can come out when somebody doesn't feel like they know where they're trying to go. She may not know where she's trying to go creatively when it comes to her career. All right. But spirit is telling her to keep going. I feel like I dropped something. I feel like I dropped something. Okay, we'll keep going. But Spirit is saying, be brave, baby. It's time. You're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off because of fear, which is understandable. But you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision, and you will feel so much lighter when you do. Spirit is also telling her, you're being asked to move forward towards the dream you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out into the world. Don't be surprised if she has a new album or some new outlet that we're going to see her um, be brave enough to take a leap of faith in. So stay tuned when it comes to the both of them. So if you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Side Moon Diva. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.